guys welcome back to problem 5.5 five from the fundamentals of chapter 5 all right so let's continue doing pretty much exactly what we've been doing in the past in the past four okay um, let's see this problem it requires you to find the you know the reactions at at a smooth peg at C and the roller at A. Okay, and oh yeah, and the tension in cable AB. All right. So first thing we do is draw our, our free body diagram. So actually, let's make it black. So this is our free body diagram. All right, and then let's look at. Okay, I'm gonna say that here C. Here's A. All right. And wow, that's pretty straight. This angle is 30 degrees with the horizontal. Okay. Don't get it confused with the tension. Okay. Oh, great. Come on. Come on, Apple. Popping out those notifications on me. All right. Uh, so now let's first thing we do let's look at the reaction forces so there's a roller at a so we know the roller has only one reaction force it just normal to the surface that it's touching okay so a y okay the next force that we need let's let's write down the normal force here and see so it's a smooth peg so meaning there's no friction in this direction, so it's free to slide in this direction, right? So there's not gonna be any reactions in in the, I guess, uh, what's, what would that be, the, the parallel direction to, to the peg. So there's one normal to it, just like, the, just like the roller, and we'll call that NC. Oops, let's just call it, well, yeah, we'll have to call it NC just because it is a normal force and it's at C. And I call this one a y just because I know it's already in the a in the y direction. This one's not really in the in the x or y. All right, and then they give us a few other ones. So they give us um, the center of gravity of this thing is at g, okay. And they actually give us a weight. They give us a 25 kilogram bar. So we know we'll just label it w. And we know W is M times G. And then we're going to do 25 kilograms times 9.81. Make sure you have 9.81 because then you're wrong if you don't. Just kidding. I had a professor who made us do 9.81. So I force everyone else to do it the same way because... We must stick to those old school ways. Just plain. <laughs> All right. So, okay, our weight is 245.5 newtons. I probably should have used a different color for that. Okay, and then, is that all? So your answer should be no, because we have this... Uh, we have this tension force, right? We have tension TB. Uh, okay, that's TB. Everyone remember this is TB, just in case we forget what that subscript is, TB. And then we have an angle of 15 here, okay? Alright, and let's see, we have our distances, man, you know, these problems just get longer and longer. But not to worry, because I think chapter 5 problems are probably the longest in the book, and then they start shortening up again. Um, so this is point 2, until we get to moment of force diagrams, actually, but well, you might not cover those in statics. And point three. Shear and force. Shear and moment diagram. That's what I meant. 
0.3. Okay. All right, so now we're ready to just break everything down into x and y, and then easily finish our problem after that. So, okay, a y doesn't, a y is already in the y. Now, this t b, we know it has t b in this direction. Okay, we'll just call it t b y. And then we know that there's t b x. Okay, now we've broken down TB. Now for the fun one, this one, NC. So we need NCX and CY. Okay, and what I like to do is just draw another horizontal supplementary line here. Okay. And then let's let's talk about angles. This is this one here is 30, alright, which makes this 60. We're done. Okay, so just just make yourself make make your life a little easier and draw supplementary lines. Okay, highly recommended. All right, so now let's just sum these up in the x and y. Oh yeah, well let's let's list this one. So we know it's gonna be n c x and then n c y. Boom, done. Well, not yet. But okay, so let's do f of x equals zero. And we have forces in the x direction. So we have tbx, but we know tbx is tb uh, tb cosine fifteen. Okay, and then minus nc, ncx, but N C, it's going to be nc cosine 60. Okay, and then do, do I have any of them? No, I don't. So then next one, f of y equals 0. Okay, so what do we have here? We have ay. We have TBY, and TBY is going to be plus TBY, which is TB sine 15, and da -da -da, minus W, minus W is going to be minus 245.25, and last but not least, we have NCY, so NC. NCY, which is NC sine 60. And again, man, we have one unknown here, another unknown, another unknown, another unknown. Well, okay, fine. Three unknowns, two equations. All right. So that calls for the moment equation. And we'll do the moment equation about, actually, the best point here will be Point A, just because there are pretty much four com four different components of forces in here. So if we pick point A, we eliminate those from our calculation. And then there's one more perk to this, is that NC, NC is already normal to, like we already know the distance, the perpendicular distance to NC, which is going to be 0.6. Okay, this thing okay because we know that perpendicular distance all we need to do is NC times the perpendicular distance which is point oh no it's not point six it's point seven excuse my lack of arithmetic and then it's positive because it wants to make this uh, weird crooked beam rotate kind of clockwise okay and then what else do we have? We have the weight, okay? So the weight, we'll try to make it rotate clockwise, so it's gonna be minus W, so 245. And then I start thinking about the distance here that we're gonna multiply it with. Well, I figure this part out, I'll write a five. 
There we go. Okay, so my, that's the weight times what distance? All right, so let's see. We need the perpendicular distance, so we just drop this, drop, 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 right here. So we need this distance here, which I hope you've already been able to solve it. Except you can't tell me, I wish you could. And that distance is 0 0.5, 0 0.5, cosine 30, okay, because the adjacent angle, adjacent side to um, this triangle here, this blue triangle I just drew. All right, so it's 0 0.5 cosine 30. And we're almost there, cosine 30 equals zero. And then what do we have now? We have NC, it's 245.25 times 0 0.5 times cosine 30 divided by 0.7. So we have NC is 151.7 newtons okay and we guessed correctly we guessed that it was going up and to the left good assumption guys high five high five okay so let's solve for tb now so let's look at the x equation okay let's draw a big arrow here the x equation is going to be tb one fifty one 0.7 cosine 60, which is 0.5, divided by cosine 15. Okay, so that's 151.7 times 5 divided by cosine 15. That is 78. Point five newtons. Okay, so we solved for the tension on the rope, TB. We solved for NC, and now that's going to allow us to solve for AY, the reaction at the roller. And let's do it all in one line here. So just doing this arithmetic here, let's see, we have uh, 245.25 minus 151.7 times sine 60. Yeah, minus TB, 78.5 times sine 15. And then this gives me 93.6 newtons. Okay. Yeah, so, and there we have it. Um, Assuming, you know, we did this right, this is what you should have gotten, okay? And, uh, yeah, so this is how you go through the through this problem. Again, we pretty much done the same method in all of them. Different geometries, but same methodology, same methodology, okay? If you have questions on this, just shoot me a message or a comment down below, and I'll be happy to respond. Uh, thanks for your time, guys. Take it easy.